Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to do challenge number two from the advanced section, and it is a doozy. What is it called? Symmetric difference. Create a function that takes two or more arrays and returns an array of the symmetric difference of the provided arrays. Okay, so um, uh, to really, you know, do well in this challenge, uh, you have to understand uh, a bit of some, you know, mathematical concepts right here, in this case, the symmetrical difference. And um, it, at first it could be a little, you know, a little hard to wrap your head around. Um, so, you know, there's like this YouTube video that they link right here on the challenge. I highly recommend that you watch it. It, it does a really good job of explaining it, uh, you know, what it is. And it, it's actually a video, I, I think it was created for like middle school or high school students. So, you know, um, you know, for someone who's like really dumb like me, I'm really dumb with numbers and math, um, it helped me understand it. Um, there's also this very useful wiki. Um, I, I never mentioned the wiki articles here, but, um, but anyway, they have some more relevant links uh, related to symmetric difference, and they're going to give you some hints here. Um, now, one thing that I want to mention is um, we've already done a challenge back in the intermediate section a couple of weeks ago, and this the, that challenge, it's called uh, Find the, the Difference, something like that. Um, and it and it was a really preparation for for this um, advanced challenge here. So if you follow me to the intermediate section, and yeah, if you go to diff of two arrays, um, we're going to use this function right here uh, as like a helper function for for this advanced um, this advanced uh, you know kind of challenge. Basically. Um, compare two arrays and return a new array with any items found only in one of the two given arrays, but not both. In other words, return the symmetric difference of the two arrays. So we've already done this uh, earlier in the intermediate section. Uh, this challenge is uh, finding the symmetric difference with two arrays. Um, we just have to step it up a little bit because in the advanced challenge, if we go back here, uh, we need to find the symmetric difference of um, you know, two or more arrays. It could be three or four or, or whatever. So um, let's go back here and let's go uh, yeah, to the advanced challenge. And uh, you know, if you notice, if you look at uh, the test cases that we have to pass, you can see that you know, some of them, they have like three uh, arrays or, you know, this one has even like four. So it's, um, you know, it, it's, it's a bit more complicated, but um, since we've already done uh, like the, the diff of two arrays from, from earlier in the intermediate section, uh, we have a good leg up on this challenge. Uh, so just to make things, you know, a bit faster, um, I, I will be copying and pasting some code from the earlier challenge. And uh, by the way, there's a GitHub repo for you know all of these videos right here. Um, and uh, you know I explain like what what you learn in each of the videos. So anyway, I'm going to go to the advanced, or sorry, the intermediate section, and then go to number two diff arrays. And uh, I'm going to copy this function for later. And normally uh, I write my code in the um, Atom editor, and then I just display it in um, in like Chrome in the JavaScript console. But but um, I want to kind of uh, uh, show you step by step like my thought process uh, for doing this, and um, and anyway, it'll be you know, very useful to have like uh, like the test right here and getting like immediate feedback, uh, so you can see where you know I'm coming from. Uh, so anyway, um, first thing we got to do, uh, we've got uh, one argument right here, uh, but we have multiple arguments. Um, we could have like two or even three arrays. So we know that we're going to have um, this arguments object that we've seen before, and we got to convert it into an array. So we've done this before. We got to say array prototype slice call arguments. Oops, that's how you spell arguments. That's better. 
Okay, so now uh, args is is an actual array that we can you know use array methods on and so forth. Okay, and uh, and now uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to just copy and paste uh, this code here and and I believe um, you, you know I think uh, you know um, we can just like put it outside of here. That's totally fine. You can put the function inside or outside. It really doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna um, I'm just gonna put it in there, okay? Um, and then uh, I'm going to use the reduce method. So return args reduce, okay? And it needs uh, two arguments. So the accumulator and the next value. Okay, and um, you know the accumulator. You can give it a default value, like right here. Uh, but if you don't give it a default value, it'll just be the first item of the array. In this case, this first subarray right there. It, it actually doesn't matter. You can put the default value or not. Um, so it's up to you. And then I'm just going to say the accumulator is going to be the result of diff array. Next, and then return the accumulator. Okay, so so if you can recall from that uh, intermediate challenge, uh, we give this function diff array. We give it two uh, arrays, and uh, and yeah, it, it returns a new array. Um, it returns a new array uh, with just the symmetric difference. Uh, so so. If it has uh, if it has a value that appears in both arrays, it's not going to include it. Uh, but if the value is only in one of the arrays, then it's going to stay in there. Um, and then we're just using this reduce method to kind of uh, you know accumulate you know one set uh, of like uh, of like a reduction, and then we take the next one and then add it in there, and so on and so forth. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this code. And let's see what happens with our um, with our test. Okay, so um, you can actually see that we passed uh, quite a number of tests. Um, the ones with uh, with two arrays, okay, uh, they pass, so that's no problem. Um, so, so here, this has two subarrays, and we get the symmetric difference. Um, okay, and that says it should only contain three elements. Uh, this one we actually get um, three subarrays, and uh, our symmetric difference uh, still works. But if you look at the other test, uh, you'll notice that um, these these uh, you know other the, these other subarrays they actually contain duplicate values. So this one it, this is the first subarray, and it has one and one, two and five, and this one has two, two, three and five, and this one also, it has this duplicate values. So, um, I mean, what we have right now, it, it kind of works so long as each of the subarray doesn't have duplicate values. And I can just see by looking at all the other tests that, uh, yeah, they, they all have duplicate values, and that might be a reason why um, these tests are still failing. So I'm gonna write another helper function, and it's basically going to remove the duplicate values before I pass it on to differay. And again, I mean, because of, you know, because of scope, you know, uh, local and global scope, uh, I can I can put my helper functions all in, in within here, uh, or I can just put them outside of there. It it really doesn't matter, you know, whatsoever. Uh, I'm just going to keep it outside of the function just to make sure everything is nice and clean and modular and all that good stuff. So I'm going to call this function remove dupes, and uh, that's a, a good name for it, I think. And uh, we're only going to pass it one subarray, and we'll remove those dupes. And I'll just say var result. So this is the um, the array that will eventually pass. Okay, so array for each function value. Okay. Okay, and then basically if result dot index of value. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to do a bit of typing here. 
and then I'll explain what's going on. Okay. All right, so um, basically uh, we give this function an array and then we're going to iterate through each uh, item in the array and, um, and then we use the index of method so if the current value of the array that we're iterating through uh, using for each if that value doesn't exist in the results we're going to push it in there and remember if the value doesn't exist the index of is going to return negative one to us so we're basically saying if it's less than zero aka negative one then it doesn't exist and uh, okay it is um, it is um, you know a unique value so we'll push it in there and then you know later on if we get the, the duplicate value then it you know the index of is going to return you know greater than negative one so we're not going to push and then after we iterate through everything uh, we're just going to return uh, the result uh, so we just got to make sure that we um, that we uh, remove any duplicate values from the accumulator and from uh, from next before we pass it on so we're just going to say uh, accumulator is remove dupes okay hey like this and uh let's see here oops oh something i misspelled something oh yeah here it is okay i got an error let's try that all right yep yeah, so i still need to add my next in there so next equals remove dupes next okay so um i put in both the accumulator and the next uh, subarray from my reduce method and i passed it in through the remove dupes function so now we should have a clean set of, of subarrays with no duplicate values and if i go ahead and run this okay even grumpy cat approves hey i've seen that message before all right uh i'm just going to check how much time we have oh no oh no what did, what did I do? Okay, thank God. Um, so I'm just going to uh, go ahead and check uh, what value. Uh, sorry, we, we still have a few minutes, so let's just review what we have here. So uh, we got three arrays, uh, sorry, three functions. And th this is the main function right here, but it needs help from these two helper functions. And uh, you can, you know, put these helper functions inside of the main one or, you know, keep it outside. It's totally up to you. And it, it doesn't matter. Like, I can, I can, you know, I can put it, you know, above or below. I can still run it. It still works. Okay. In JavaScript, there's this, you know, uh, concept called hoisting. So it just hoists all the functions to the top of the code. And it really doesn't matter where you put it. Uh, I'll just go ahead and fix it back there. So <clears throat> we take the, um, all the subarrays that we give our main function, sim, and uh, we, I mean, we're dealing with an argument object, so we convert that argument object into an actual array, and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then we call the reduce function on it. And remember, reduce it needs at least two arguments, an accumulator, and then the next item in the array. And um, you know, the accumulator, uh, I'm, I'm not giving it a default value, anything like that. I mean, I could do this, and okay, it'll still work. But um, yeah, I, d I don't need it. Uh, so anyway, uh, because I don't give the, um, the reduce method a starting value, it's just going to grab the first um, you know, um, a, a subarray, and then that will be the accumulator. And then uh, we're using next right here, uh, which is, will be the next uh, you know, um, uh, subarray in, in, the, uh, in the list uh, of you know, subarrays. And, um, and then essentially we're going to pass each uh, the accumulator and the next to remove dupes just to make sure that it, it has a unique values and it's not duplicating anything. And then after we do that, we just use our good old method that we wrote from back in the intermediate section, uh, diff arrays, and, uh, and then uh, we, we return the accumulator and it keeps doing this again and again and again with the reduce uh, until we get uh, uh, just a you know an array of unique values the symmetric difference okay guys um so that was a doozy and um you know this 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 is good but um you can definitely refactor it to make it you know better sexier you know uh, more lean um okay so if you have any questions comments or suggestions for improvement please let me know in the comments below thank you and i'll see you in the next video
Boop.